Hello, welcome to the next video of TIA Portal. In this video, we will discuss about PID Compact in TIA Portal. PID control stands for Proportional, Integral, Derivative Control. PID control is widely used in industrial control systems. PID controller determines how much and how quickly the output should be changed, to meet the process requirements. In this video, we will discuss about PID Compact using S7-1500 PLC. Let us assume a process, in which our task is to control the pressure in the tank. We will use an AI, AQ module for measurement of pressure and output for the valve. Assign I.O. addresses for the pressure sensor input and the valve output. PID Compact is a technology block which reads the measured process value, compares it with the set point and calculates the output value to adjust the set point deviation. A cyclic interrupt OB allows us to start program at periodic intervals, independently of the main program execution. The call of the PID compact takes place in the cyclic, interrupt OB, since the discrete software controls must be called at a defined time interval. As we call the PID compact in cyclic interrupt OB, a function block appears. It is specially developed for the control of proportional actuators. This can also be seen under the list, system block, and its associated data block can be seen under the list, technology objects. PID Compact comes with a configuration window and a commissioning window.
In the controller type, we can select the process variable and its unit. You can also choose controller reaction to CPU restart. We will set it to automatic mode. In the input output parameters, we can wire the field IOS. In the input, if we are using scaled value of the process variable, we will select input. Input PER stands for input peripherals. We will use input PER to assign the input directly from field device. In the output, output can be used in three ways. Output PER is used when we are directly assigning analog output to the module. Output is selected. When we use a scaled output value, output PWM is for output as digital pulse width modulated signal. Select it when using a digital output channel. Enter process value high end, low limits. Since, we have selected input PER, we need to scale it inside the PID compact block. Assume the maximum pressure value at 27,648 is 300 bar. Type of controller and PID parameters can be changed. We will keep the default settings. We have done with the configuration of the PID compact. Now, connect field IOS and set point to the function block. We will now commission the PID block. Before that, start PLC sim to simulate the process.
Start the measurement in the left top corner. The tuning status indicates that tuning has not been started yet. Start pre-tuning. On clicking of Upload PID parameters, the updated values are written to the project in the instance data block of the PID compact. After pre-tuning is completed, you can view the updated PID parameters by clicking on Go to PID parameters. Use the manual mode button to manually set the output value. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe for more updates.